Hey guys, welcome back to Electrico Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video, guys. If you have a BMW 1 Series and you're trying to test your vanus solenoid because you have engine light on and code related to uh, bad vanus solenoid. Now, even if yours check out fine, guys, make sure to stay until the end. There is maybe something simple that you need to do uh, to actually make your solenoid to work correctly. So make sure you stay until the very end. Before we start, guys, all the tools and parts that we use, including if you need to buy a new solenoid, we'll share the link in the description of the video below for your convenience and second guys every single car we get at the shop we make at least 200 free repair videos why we do that simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that's all we need guys so this is a six cylinder n52 engine but even if you have a four cylinder six cylinder gasoline diesel engine testing vanos solenoids is practically the same for pretty much any bmw and this is the engine with everything removed we can show you with great detail how we're going to do that but before we start okay let me show you guys this is our main channel right there it's called how to repair guys we have helped guys more than 71 million people so please check it out and subscribe we have information that can save you thousands of dollars on future repairs so with all that being said this is the engine right here uh, in most cases you have two vanus solenoids one for the intake camshaft one for the exhaust and they will look in most cases something like that we have everything pretty loose and if you want to see how to remove and replace them we have a video and i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below but this is the solenoid guys and uh, what it does okay uh, it's pretty simple it has a thing inside that moves up and down when you apply 12 volt resistance and depending on how much it's open okay it changes actually your variable timing and the timing of your engine so uh, you have guys only two wires and it doesn't matter if you install the positive or negative on the left or right side it doesn't matter you can reverse them but it's super super important not to touch the two wires together if you touch the two wires together immediately that vanus solenoid will be destroyed and you will need to buy a new one so we gently install the alligator clips okay those are super handy guys alligator clips are super handy and we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can actually buy the alligator clips because they're they're uh, definitely guys okay something that can save you quite a bit of money guys especially on something simple like that so just take your time make sure that you push it all the way in push it good okay here it actually got stuck on top of the okay now now it's good great okay now we can apply 12 volt supply and listen what's going to happen you will see that stem inside moving actually check it out now okay let's reverse the wires on the battery and it, sh it still should work perfect so it's testing perfect guys now you may still get an engine light and cold why because if your vanus solenoid is dirty on the inside you may have something that prevents it from opening and closing it all the way you will need to clean it and you can see some things that come out of it okay definitely guys something dirty so we'll have a video on the channel guys that explains how to clean it and i'll try to put the link in the description of the video below so please check it out thank you for watching and see you guys next time